Hi guys, Steve Buzzer here. I'm on the practice range at the Bonita Bay Club and I thought I would do a little video on what I've been doing with my wedge play. So in my back to scratch challenge, I kind of said that I had a massive problem with my wedges. You know, it's been quite obvious in the vlogs of like 2017. So I needed to really take control of my issues. So I was very fortunate. I had a lesson stroke fitting for the Mac Daddy 4s from Roger Cleveland. So he gave me some technical tips. But so what I've been doing is trying to actually change my delivery. So when you're making a change initially, you need to really get to the root cause of the problem. I felt with my wedge play, you know, my contact is a big issue. So I needed to take control of that before I started doing anything else. So you might think with wedges, you could spend hours just trying to dial in on the yardages. But if I haven't got the contact, it's going to make that very variable when I get out on the golf course. So to take control and make my wedge play better, I've actually hit lots and lots of shots, just working on technique, trying to feel like I'm getting more shallow. So the reason that could apply to you, and it might not be your wedge play, let's, let's use driver for example. If you keep hitting the ball out of the heel, or the, the strike pattern is very variable across the face, you're going to find it difficult to take control of that golf ball because the strike itself is going to be making different movements. So the example of hitting out of the heel, you're going to have to start now almost pulling across to try and get the ball to start left so you can find the target. So if you're in a position where you're not in season and you're trying to actually make a big gain, and I know if you're watching from the UK, I bet you've already commented that, yeah, but we can't practice yet. I apologize for that, and I hope you get out there practicing soon. But if you worry about where the ball is going before addressing your strike problem, the ball is kind of irrelevant. So taking control of the strike, really key. In this instance, with my wedge play, to get the optimum launch, a lot of it comes down to getting a good interaction with the face. So until I've got that, I'm going to launch the ball incorrectly. What I would say is I've been working on trying to shallow out. So I'm, I'm almost feeling like I'm extending quite a lot. So it, it gives me the sensation I'm hitting the ball quite high. For optimal wedge play, I wouldn't say that is ideal. But I need to get control of the strike before I can start then looking at what the flight is doing. So for that reason, I'm not really worrying too much about how far I'm hitting them. And that might seem odd when I'm saying I can't control the distance of my wedges. But I have to take control of the strike before I can start really focusing in on the target. So the other thing I'm doing, and you might see the club in my hand, is not the wedge I usually use. It's actually one that's been lent to me because I'm looking at making changes and I'm going to go slightly longer. So I'm actually practicing with this wedge predominantly because it's slightly longer so I can get the sensation that I can stand a bit more erect, not have my weight too much forward. So that's the reason why I'm using this a lot. This one doesn't actually have anywhere near as much bounce as the, the wide bounce I have on my other ones. So by trying to shallow out with this club, I feel like once I then actually get my new wedges and get a bit more bounce on them, you know, that's really going to help. So I'm actually using something that's not trying to help my contact in order for me to make the change. I'm feeling like I'm making progress. I'm actually liking the way that I'm hitting my wedges now. So once I've now taken control of that, I can now then go into looking at what the launch is and I'll get the launch monitor out and start trying to pick off distances. So I would say I'm, I've improved my wedge play and I've certainly started a journey to getting very proficient on the course. But when I'm out on the course at the minute, I'm not really seeing these gains because I haven't been trying to dial them in at all. So when you're practicing and when you're structuring your practice, especially if you've got more of a longer term goal than a shorter term goal, actually trying to take control of it before you get too outcome orientated could actually allow you to make the change. Sometimes when we try and get the results first or we try and get consistent results first, it actually prevents us from making the change. So especially this time of year when we're out of season, really target what you need. And sometimes you've got to sit down and think about really hard what you need to change. So for me, it's quite obvious with this. I didn't like my contact 
as I'm not getting the contact, I can't launch the ball how I want, can't control the distances. Let's take control of that contact first. Your things might be different to this. You might be a case that your actual technique is good and you just need to really practice. You know, you need to be practicing. You might be trying to use a new way of creating a system where you know all of your distances, you know, from maybe nine o'clock, 10, 30, 12. That might be the stage you're in. I'm getting closer and I'm gonna be getting into that kind of phase soon. But I had to take control of the problem first. It was a technical issue. So get some comments down below. What, what are you working on? Or maybe you're in the snow, so I'm not trying, to, not trying to poke the bear and say, oh, you can't get out and practice. But in your game, what do you need to practice? Because if, if you can't practice at the minute, this might be a good time to actually sit down and reflect on what you did last year, work out what you need to change, and more importantly, how are you going to change that? So you can put some steps in place so when you can get back out there and practice, you know you're structured and I'm working on this at the minute or I'm, I'm working on a certain move so it doesn't really matter how well I'm hitting it. It doesn't matter if I'm hitting the odd bad shot because I know once I get this I can then target and really get into making some great results. So I hope this video has helped. The back to scratch, I'm getting there, you know I'm feeling really good about it so Hopefully, when I give an update on that next, that would have improved. But what I've been doing with my wedges, and what is interesting is, I would be lying if I said I've seen any improvements on the course so far from how I'm practicing. But long term, I feel like once I get into the, into the season, or my season is maybe playing Jimbo Jet Golf in a mega match series. There you go, you've heard it here first. You know, I'm gonna be ready for him. So I'm not getting the short-term goal straight away, but the long-term goals will be coming. Think about it. Get some comments down below. Like, subscribe, and I hope to catch you soon.